Hello everyone, we uh, just wanted to do a little recording actually because we, we were sitting here and we're enjoying our uh, Christmas break time from work and we we're just having a game of Champions of Midgard. Yes. Which um, I got everything through the Kickstarter with all the expansions and that's a lot of fun, eh? It's, it's, it's a very so cool game, fun. especially when you've got the... You're going to tip that over. <laughs> <laughs> but basically you've got a, like a champion or whatever. So something like that. I don't know if you can see it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, you pick a champion. They've got little stats, and your warriors are dice, and you roll your dice, and you fight other monsters, and go on sea adventures, and occasionally fight meet a kraken. And, you yeah, met a kraken I, on your I, I, uh, sea voyage, didn't you? Yes. Buy long ships and and go and do stuff. Take on trolls and Draugr and all that junk. Yeah, it's mm. good fun. It's very cool. And you're. Uh, and meet some of the gods and yeah. mythical yeah. stuff. We've had two games, Pillar had a win and I had a win, which yeah. is always good. Yeah. It's always good when I don't, he says. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're and I one. like these games where you've got like a a, a a whole bunch of different ways to get points. And Correct, you, yeah. You can do that whole big, uh, ooh, 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 end of the game count up. And well, that's right, one yeah. by 700 points. <laughs> well, being a worker placement, you don't you want to make sure that if you place it, it's going to be, like, really... It's going to you know, do something for lots you. Lots of yeah. points is actually going to be quite handy. We wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes, to be, uh, be safe Merry over the Christmas. holiday period and things like that. But mm. do find time to play some games, like we do. Yes. Like we've um, done. Yep. Because it's Get great. them in there while you've got the holiday time, I mm. think, is a good thing. And... If you're experiencing a white Christmas, you've got even more reason to stay inside. <laughs> we, we stay inside because that's where the air conditioning is. But, yeah. <laughs> so you'd be right there, wouldn't you? You'd be out there making snow angels. Oh, I'd be out there, in eh? the yard with the snow. It, that'd be way more fun, <laughs> building snowmen and junk. You'd have to yeah. yell to get me to come in. We're actually just sort of thinking about all the, all the different videos that we've done mm. and um, all the comments that people have made. There's been some good and, uh, stuff. For this year... It was a the Battletech series we did on Protomex. It was probably really good. <laughs> you were me. itching for that for yeah, ages, yeah. weren't you? You know, yeah. I mean, obviously, Quadmex is always good and things like that. But yeah, to, to finally talk about the Protomex because it's they are very interesting technology in the yeah. game of Battletech. They're very cool. Yeah, I, I, I quite are. like them. I don't know if I'd ever use them or not, but I quite like them. Mm. It's um, I don't know. I I think with the with the ground units basically out of the way, I've, I've been looking forward to getting some more scenarios and stuff done. So, um, that um, prison break one, mm. I, quite, I quite like that. Oh, that was <laughs> yeah, fun. it was yeah. pretty good. We, we, we did quite good. well with that one. I, I might even like switch that around and get you to build a, a defense force at, at some point. Because now that we've done most of the stuff, I mean, we've got industrial mechs and support vehicles to do. But I think once those are done, basically all our ground combat is covered. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Like some the unit random types, big, yeah, the random stuff comes up. I, I wouldn't mind going into the um, mobile structures as well, but they're not really like full on combaty type stuff. No, um, but they are still quite cool. Yeah, um, we've got the aerospace stuff finishing, but th with all the ground combat underway, that could be fun to get a few more. Um, actual scenarios in did you actually have a like a favorite video for this year a favorite sort of um thing? i think the prison break one was was really really good i quite liked the um well the response to some of the latest um workshop ones that we've been doing has been really really good yeah i quite like that pillar showed me the the analytics thing and apparently for the for the first day the, was it the missile boat one? Yeah. It the did really well. missile boat one did really well. Yeah. Which is cool, because I like my missile boats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of, a lot of uh, people out there with the same sort of taste. Yes. In the yes. Game Quite a few people were enjoying those. <laughs> and it, it isn't even a matter of, like, people commenting and stuff. It was just so many people watching it. it was That was really, really cool. Mm. I quite like that. And we are going to finish that series off do all of them eventually but you guys are voting on which one we do next so yeah i think we're doing snipers next aren't we? snipers is next mm. yeah that's it's that's going to be very cool going to be interesting cool. um i've got my got my eye on a few things 
<laughs> my sniper's eye on a few things. Well, I've I've got a few things. I I want to do a um another workshop, a solo one, but we might do it together at some point as well on the the whole tactics thing. And I want to try and get that done before we do snipers because some of my uh, thoughts around the comments that everybody's been putting out tactical stuff has been well, one of them was snipers, mm -hmm. so I'm like. Maybe I should tell them what's going on in my brain before we get to that <laughs> bit first. <laughs> Mostly nothing, but there are occasional bits of, of tactical stuff going on. So, But yeah, I'll, I'll do that. But I've, I've quite liked the scenarios we've been playing. Some of them have been quite fun. Yeah. It sucks to, to like condense them down sometimes, but sometimes that just makes it more exciting, like the, the eight-turn thing. Yeah, that's is, right. It, it just makes it more fun sometimes. Right. Um if you do want to have a more exciting scenario, I'd strongly recommend just dropping the number of turns you're allowed to play for. Because when you've got 20 or 30 turns in and everybody's hiding behind hills and doing indirect fire and stuff, it's good, but it can take a while and it can get a bit, you know, samey. You, you cut that down to like 10 or 12 turns, eight turns, and everybody just goes ballistic and starts shooting stuff. And yeah. Getting out there and doing things and it makes it a bit more fun. Well, there was a recent question, uh, just sort of expanding on, uh, but there's not a lot of scenarios and things like that for scouts. So how would we actually do that? And that, um, that would be a few things to actually discuss would be kind of cool. That, that's another workshop video that's been in the works for ages. I don't know if you guys remember, you probably don't either, but I did mention at one point, I think it was in the, I think it was in the balance one that I did ages ago. Ages ago. It was a while ago. But I, I want to look at scenarios in like levels of complexity. And I mentioned a scouting scenario because that's one that I can see very being very, very easy at its base level, but being able to be branched out into like hugely complex stuff. Yeah. Like, uh, so yeah, I've got some ideas for scouting scenarios for like specifically for scouting. So I don't know, maybe we can do them together if you want to. Um, it'll be like a complexity layer thing. So I've, prob I've got ideas for like maybe three levels of, of different scenario. So maybe we can run through them and I might even write them up. Yeah, could be interesting. <laughs> but basically, if, you've, if you're looking for scouting stuff, just think about what you want them to do and do a scouting thing like that. Mm. The race is a good one for a scout scenario. The... Um, Rolling maps. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a really good one for scouting scenarios cool, because you, you have to, like, get to the end of the thing, scout the little boobop, do your beep beeps, and, and then run. And if you can't run fast enough and get away, then you're going to get chased down and killed, <laughs> which is which is cool. Uh, that's that's yeah. a fun thing, and it's really good in scout scenarios. It doesn't make as much sense in any other scenarios, but in scouting, it actually makes a lot of sense to have that. Mm. It... it really plays into the type of scenario that you're doing so that's one thinking about uh, maybe a little competition as well <laughs> for everyone everyone who's sort of been watching watching all the videos and supporting us and things like that with this is sort of out to you a mm. bit of a bit of a fun thing to do we're having we're having a look at defense budgets Oh, <laughs> for, for around the place, right? We are doing that. We, oh, we okay. Yeah. So we, we, oh, we, my we God. We were just having a look at, like, the countries, what they sort of spend on their defence budget and things like that. So <laughs> so we came across Australia. So, okay, well, what do we have to work with that we could mm. defend the country with? You know, what sort yeah, of designs was, and stuff like that yeah. would be quite popular for our environment and things like that. And so we needed to know how much money we could spend. And what it was, did we come it up was, with? Fifty-seven and a half billion Australian dollars is thirty-five point seven billion US dollars. Billion with a B, which is just ridiculous. So, <laughs> so I don't know. So we'll probably what are we gonna do? It we'll do it in US dollars. So everyone, I, I think that's easier. Yeah. So we'll do it in US dollars to build a defense force for Australia. <laughs> what would we have? Like you've got like. Using, using like, what sort of 30, so clan invasion. You go clan stuff. invasion. Clan yeah. invasion so, so sort of technology, so you, you know, so you can. So uh, there's a bit more high-end stuff there. You, yeah. can, you can kind of spend your money on. Otherwise, you've got, like, lances and lances and regiments and 
everything be I, the whole thing. I think we're probably we're probably only at like sort of inner sphere technology. Oh yeah. So we won't have yeah, any no clan, clan stuff. So we won't have any clan stuff. But have a look at all the inner sphere stuff that's there, and just come <laughs> up with some uh, suggestions. And we'll. Yeah. Do we want to do like a backup to that competition as well, or are we making that your thing? We can have a backup. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. I don't know. The backup is leave a comment about your own uh, best game of the yeah. year. But favorite gaming experience of the year. Favorite yes. game. Favorite gaming experience. Something that that was really really good through the year in gaming that that happened that you liked. Or build Australia or a defense force <laughs> because now I'm interested. <laughs> The thing is, there's going to be people <laughs> who are going to try that, for yeah. sure. So we, I, you can do I'm either of those as your choice. Fully it expecting matter. Mike to come up with, like, an itemised list. <laughs> be like, yeah. And I could beat it with because we looked at America's as well at 766 billion, I think it was. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're like a less than a tenth of that. Um, but, yeah, that because uh, oh. we're, we're, we're looking at, at probably doing that Sea Bill scenario with the full star on star thing. Yes. Okay. So we're yeah. looking at doing that, and we ended up with eighty four million with an M for one star of mix of mixed, mixed um, like weight classes. Yeah. Um, mine were fairly heavy end, I think, but I had one or two that were lighter. But I've got a fire star, and you've got a command star, star. right? I think but his mm. I think you outweighed my I'm pretty choice, sure I outweigh Wade. you. A lot. Um, it was pretty pretty substantial. But because you were only using your plastics that you'd painted, yeah. we had to kind of like figure out how to squeeze it into an actual formation. Which was good because mm. it made us look at how they all work and yeah. what you actually need. So command stars are actually very cool. So it'll be mm. interesting to see how they go. Well we might we might go through like each one anyway, because we know what we've taken, so we may as well show you guys. But yeah, they they it was only 84 million for that and that's a full star of clan equipment yeah so doing it with inner sphere stuff you go you you've got like regimental for like everywhere oh you can split it amongst the states as well we you could even go that far <laughs> if you really wanted to you really wanted like to. 30 35.7 million and say okay so WA gets this these three lances and Sydney gets the eastern states get these and this and this <laughs> oh my god uh, considering some planets <sighs> were actually defended by like you know maybe a lance of mechs in the yeah, ship well. that could go anywhere that was its so you could have just about anything so yeah so that's it so you <laughs> could be as elaborate as you want and come up with something really cool that or you know just let us know about like this something that just happened this year something just so something year that memorable. was cool for you in gaming yeah um yeah. Even doesn't it have was, to be battle tech yeah it could be anything even if it was just news of mm. something something that you maybe yeah. it's a game or something that you grew up well, with or a show there's been a lot of um out. dungeons and dragons stuff happening lately yeah. so yeah. We'll, we'll have a look through all of them and we'll pick a winner yeah i think We'll, we'll, we'll find some way. We'll pick a whole bunch of that are really good and, and, we'll, and, we'll, and, we'll, and we'll roll random dice or something. We'll come up with that. We'll, we'll figure it out prize, as we go. Some, some prize or something. So we want to do that for you. But do that because we want to know what's going on. Because stories yeah. are cool. And now I have to build an Australian defence. <laughs> don't, don't forget the horses. They're important. Oh, there'll be infantry, don't you worry. Yeah, oh, they'd have to be. Yeah. There'll be kangaroo-based infantry. Uh, we've got some more games to play, I think. Mm. So we'll um, we'll call it there. But thank you everyone for supporting the channel. Thank yeah, you for, cheers, guys. for watching the shows. It's been and really really cool. Your comments. So hopefully, hopefully things are sort of speed up a little bit next year, and we'll mm. uh, we might sort of be out and about at some of the, at the clubs if they want us there and things yeah. like that. We're, we're going to be getting some, some the... more scenarios and things in as well. So yes, true, yep. true. Um, but uh, I don't know. I was looking at like Comic Con and Supernova again because it was it was fun to go to them. But we just weren't able to. Right. But maybe, maybe, maybe Take care of yourself. And, um, have a good New Year's. Goodbye. All right. Take care. Bye, guys.